The SCP Universe, one of the most dangerous, unexplicable and bizarre universes in modern time. Going as far as to have universe-ending threats, yet having cute things like SCP-999, aka Slimy Boy. The SCP Foundation holds some of the most powerful and complex entities in all of media, being that the SCP Foundation itself is sustained by the creativity of thousands of online users. The amount of complex beings that exist in the SCP Foundation is astonishing, like SCP-1471, a phone application that is able to bypass the application approval process on the phone store and cannot be deleted by the developers. Once SCP-1471 one is installed on your phone, after the first 24 hours of exposure, your phone will start receiving images taken at locations commonly frequented by you. After 48 hours, your phone will receive images taken at places recently visited by you. And at last, after 72 hours of exposure, your phone will receive images of you in real time where you can see SCP-1471-A, the furry that never leaves you alone. Quite bizarre if you think about it. So, in today's video, I wanted to pair one of the most dangerous and complex universes of all time to one of the most overpowered characters in gaming, Dante the Demon Slayer. <laughs> Dante is badass and coldness incarnate pretty much. Being the son of Sparta, a demon that single-handedly stopped a holy war, Dante is able to perform several feats that no human will ever do, not even with uh, a huge amount of training, never, ever, never. Being a half-demon himself, Dante has superhuman strength, superhuman being an understatement. Dante's track potency even goes as far as the universe level. In Devil May Cry 1, Dante fights Mundus, the Emperor of the Underworld, in space. And I'm not even talking about our space. Mundus was able to create a reality outside of our space continuum. In other words, a fifth dimension, where only darkness exists. Not only was Dante able to survive without oxygen in space, he was able to sustain the attacks of a being that is able to create universes and cosmos like it's nothing. So Dante's attack potency and durability go as far as the universe level. In the fight with Mundus, Mundus shot Dante with a beam of light, one that Dante was able to dodge easily several times. In Devil May Cry 3, when Dante fought his twin brother Virgil, they both were exchanging sword strikes so fast that they even created a vacuum where no raindrops were able to enter. Dante is completely broken, and rightfully so. He was created by the anime power industry, in other words, Japan. It's obvious that he was going to be broken as hell. It's even stated in Devil May Cry 2 that Dante set a limit on himself because he was just getting too strong and arrogant. On top of all of his base abilities, Dante is able to absorb abilities from his fallen foes, like Quicksilver, making him able to stop time. And we will leave it at that because beyond that he gets ridiculously powerful. In conclusion, Dante is outright broken and the games do not show his true potential. But hey, gameplay mechanics don't mean a thing in the face of lore. And lore-wise, Dante is a god. The SCP Foundation contains thousands of entities. Entities that can override the laws of physics as we know them. Entities that do not fit reason at all. And entities that can outright destroy the universe in the blink of an eye. Like SCP-076. Abel, a humanoid entity that once he encounters human beings, he will enter an enraged state and start killing every human in its pad, being able to run up to 21 meters per second, rip through reinforced steel walls with his bare hands, materialize bladed weapons through the use of mini space holes in his palms, and use the power of the thorn, which gives Abel the ability to reset the universe in one second, pretty much. In terms of just base power, Dante would obliterate Abel, even though Abel is able to withstand an incredible amount of damage without perishing, Dante's attack potency will basically obliterate Abel in a second. If Abel gets to activate the power of the thorn, then Dante loses, but even though Dante gets cocky in every single battle, 
once things get really serious, like a universal threat, he will get serious in no time. And being that Dante can run even faster than Abel, once he encounters him, he will be destroyed immediately. One of the most notorious abilities from Dante is his regeneration. The dude can be outright stabbed through the heart and nothing will happen to him. Even if we do not know the full potential of his regeneration, we have never seen Dante being cut in half or being decapitated. But because Dante is still half human, let's say that if Dante loses his head, he dies. SCP-096, the shy guy. SCP-096 is a humanoid creature that measures 2.38 meters tall. SCP-096 is normally calm and relaxed in its own position, but if someone gets to see his face even by accident, SCP-096 will enter a stress state for several minutes, and after that, he will begin searching for the one that look at its face. It doesn't even matter where he is. SCP-096 appears to always know the position of its target. No known material has been recorded to ever stop the rampage of SCP-096, it being able to pierce through basically anything it encounters. Strength is not the only attribute SCP-096 has. Its resistance is extraordinary, being able to withstand pretty much any type of attack. SCP-096 can be skinned completely, leaving nothing but bone, and will still be in pursuit of its target. Some people might even say that SCP-096 is unstoppable. It will be serious trouble if SCP-096 ever reaches Dante, being that Dante is still half-human. And it doesn't matter that Dante is a universal being, there is no known material in the universe that can withstand the power of SCP-096. But that will not be the same with the Sword of Sparta, being forged on Hell. Hell being another dimension from ours, and where things like magic and the likes are involved. Dante's sword, the Sword of Sparta, would be able to withstand the attacks of SCP-096, and being that Dante was able to react and parry perfectly the attacks from Virgil and Yamato, parrying the attacks of a savage creature would be no problem for the Sword of Sparta. But that is not the problem here. The problem is terminating SCP-096 because, to be honest, there will be no way that Dante can terminate SCP-096 but Kishu as hell can contain it. SCP-682, the hard kill reptile. Unlike SCP-096, SCP-682 is unkillable and cannot be destroyed. It can withstand every single type of attack, adapt to it, and it can regenerate even if its body is already 90% destroyed, which is already a hard task to do. Unlike most of the SCPs in the Foundation, SCP-682 is just an avatar of a greater threat, a threat that can grow to the size of a galaxy if it wants, mind control, power absorption, and everything crazy you can think of. Although this is like the expanded lore of SCP-682, its original form is still something to be reckoned with. It cannot die, it can regenerate from nothingness, it can destroy cities and mountains like nothing. If Dante was to face 682 in his original god form, Dante will have an extremely hard time, taking into consideration that Dante fought Mundus in the 5th dimension, dodging asteroids, whole galaxies and beams of light at the same time, Dante can truly give a fight to 682, but yet again, he will not be able to terminate it, or even contain it, just survive it. SCP-173, aka Fast Boy. SCP-173 is a rock's tattoo of no origin. At a glance, it appears to be not hostile, but if you ever lose sight of him, blinking, power outage or whatever, he will run as fast as 93 miles per hour and break your neck in an instant. The only way to survive an encounter with SCP-173 is to never lose sight of him. If you have a companion, always call what you're going to blink. In this case, even if SCP-173 seems to in quotes teleport to break your neck, Dante has reaction times that even rival the speed of light, and just knowing how cocky Dante can get, he might even blink purposely so that SCP-173 attacks him. The average blink takes about 300 milliseconds. SCP-173 can run up to 55.55 meters per second, so if Dante wants to blink in the presence of SCP-173, he needs to be at least 60 meters apart from SCP-173. Anyways, even though there is no way to terminate the 173, Dante can contain it. Infection SCPs like the Flesh That Hates or the Pestilence Doctor will bear no effect to Dante. Even though Dante's regeneration is top tier, 
Who knows if he even can survive being infected with the flesh that hates or being touched by the pestilence doctor. But as far as we know, Dante can outright obliterate the pestilence doctor with his ranged weapons. And all he needs to do with the flesh that hates is not enter its infection radius. The Gate Guardian. Being the guardian for the Garden of Eden, the Gate Guardian kills everyone that is exactly one kilometer apart from the gate. The Gate Guardian wields a sword that has flames that can rival even the temperature of the sun. It is said that when someone enters the Gate Guardian territory, it will be immediately struck by that sword and be obliterated from existence. Dante has speed of light reaction times and can even parry those kind of attacks. In his fight with Mundus, which was in his Devil Trigger mode, he was able to withstand beams of sunlight, not saying that beams of sunlight burn with the power of the sun, but Dante, in his double trigger mode, was able to withstand being in the fifth dimension. Dante, being a universal, probably even multiversal, will not perish against the attacks of an angel, but it still should be better for Dante to never enter its territory. And last but not least, the Scarlet King, a being that has been described as the devil. The Scarlet King is a hyperversal creature that dwarfs in power all of the SCPs combined. His existence and revival alone shook the very concept of creation, and nothing in the hyperverse is able to defeat him for the exception of Slimy Boy. Not even Dante at full force, Dante being multiversal himself, would be able to defeat Scarlet King, not even contain it. Due to the lack of canon, we know next to nothing about the Scarlet King, but one thing is for sure. If we were to compare Mundus to the Scarlet King in terms of power, Mundus is an ant, the Scarlet King is the sun. Anyways, if for some weird reason Dante ever gets the chance to fight the Scarlet King, he will have to go full force devil trigger mode just to survive the encounter. If the fight lasts too much and Dante wears out, he dies. So if he ever encounters him, he should flee right away. So, if Dante is able to survive an encounter for several seconds with the Scarlet King, he can mostly survive the foundation. But let me know what do you think. Which SCP can defeat Dante in your opinion? Let me know down below. In these types of videos, I am always open to criticism, being that these types of videos tend to get very complex and debatable. So if you think something in this video was outright wrong, please let me know down below. Thank you so much. And so, okay, Spartans, please let me know what do you think about this video in the comment section. Leave a like if you did and leave a dislike if you didn't. As always, I always appreciate your support wholeheartedly. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch to the Discord server. You will not regret it. And yes. And so, okay, Spartans, that is all for today. If you guys like the video, slap a like on it. I will greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye, take care, and I love you very, very much. Thank you for watching, Spartans. I really do appreciate it. Bye-bye.